Hey what's up bros, NZG Gaming Live here, welcome back to the channel. I've been doing a series of videos trying to help you guys to create outfits with Beth slash the 2 console glitch in GTA Online. This is part 3. So with part 3 what we're going to be making is the Torso 1. So on the Torso 1 I'm just going to be picking a nice business shirt with sleeves. It's a checked business shirt. I'm going to show you guys how to create the merge outfit so we can get that um, torso one. So first of all you want to come into utility vest so just go on your C1 outfit from the last video and put on either the salmon plate carrier or the sand plate carrier. And once you've got on the sand plate carrier or the salmon plate carrier you're going to back out of the shirts and go to the pants and you might as well just put the love heart boxer shorts back on. So put those love heart boxer shorts back on. Uh, you can put the skate shoes on right now if you want to, but you don't really need to. But once you've done that, just save this as your new C2 outfit. Okay, this is our C2 outfit, the one that we're going to be selecting when we go over to our console 2. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to go back into shirts, going to go into vest and select the white sweater vest this one right here once we select that white sweater vest you're going to press back go into vest shirts you're going to select the check sweater shirt okay so you can go and check that out or see other ones that you can get on silence website these are the ones you can get the check one the black one and the blue one and yeah and the white one so once you've done that Head over here to the pants again and put your love heart boxer shorts on and now save this outfit as your merge outfit. So this is the merge. Okay, so in your slot 20, save this as the merge outfit. And once you've saved this one as your merge, what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to go to style, we're going to go to outfit and we're going to select our C1 outfit which we have not changed. We're going to choose the classic parachute bag and we're going to put the classic parachute bag on. Okay, then we're going to open the interaction menu. Okay, once that save circle goes away in the corner, we're going to hover over C1 on our outfit and now we while we're hovering over C1, we're going to lock console 1. So console 1 is locked. Once we've locked console 1, you're going to wait like 10 seconds or so until you cannot see your friends list on console 1. And then you're going to head over to console 2. So console 2 up in the corner. Console 2 should be already loaded into story mode. So make sure you do load up both PlayStations into story mode. And once we're on console 2, you go ahead and just enter an invite only session. So right now you see us going into invite only session. And we'll spawn down on the ground wearing our C1 outfit with the parachute. Then once you load down, open the interaction menu, go to style, go to outfit and select C2. And then after you select C2, you want to head back to story mode after you see the save circle in the corner go away. Then once you see the clouds change from online to story mode clouds, select your C1 outfit on C1 and close the interaction menu. So once you've done that, you're going to get an orange save circle in the corner. Now we are done on C2. We can close the app and get ready to load into another account to help us out with a job in a minute and on C1 once the yellow save circle goes away you want to suspend your application or something by opening YouTube or Spotify and then it's going to take you back to story mode once you get in story mode now you want to press pause or options on your controller and head over into an invite only session if you can't just disconnect and reconnect your internet on C1 and then head over to an invite only session. Once you get into the invite only session, you will be wearing this outfit right here. Do not change 
anything on this outfit. I know this is just your C1 outfit, but still do not change anything because you will mark up the outfit. From here, go into bookmarked, go into missions and start up slow and low or point and shoot. I will put those in the description of these videos. Once you get into point and shoot, simply just want to invite one friend. Or once you get into point and shoot or slow and low, invite one friend. Before you do so though, head down to clothing and make sure you change clothing from from selected to player saved outfits. It must be like that, then confirm settings and then invite one friend to the job. Once you invite that one friend to the job, play the job. When you get into this next screen here, it's going to tell you to pick your outfit. Go once to the left and once to the right. You will now see the sleeves on the outfit. Go ahead and click ready to play. As soon as you click ready to play, the mission is going to start up. And once the mission does start up, just head straight over to the gun store. If you're doing slow and low, hurry up and head straight to the gun store before the cops get on you. Otherwise, you are going to have to go to your apartment to save this outfit. But once you get to the gun store, save this as your new C1. Give it a good couple of saves. Then once you've done that, back out of that menu, go to options, online, and then invite only session. And now you'll spawn in a new invite only session wearing this outfit. Okay, I usually like to save it again as my C1 once I get back to the clothing store. So I know it's definitely going to be there when I come back online. But that's it for this video. I'll see you bros in the next one. Bye bye.